Hey guys, it's Misty with My Paper Cuts. And as promised, I am back to show how I store all of my six by six paper pads. Um, one of the challenges I've had to myself is that I need to really start using more of what I have. Um, the more I keep rearranging things in my craft room and the frustration of just being overwhelmed sometimes when I sit down to craft, I realize I have more than plenty of things I could never even use everything that I own in my lifetime. Um, I still want to buy new things, obviously. There's always new trendy things or new cutesy things that inspire you. However, I do get caught up in clearance sales and, you know, just opportunities to buy things just because they are so affordable. And then I realize once I get them home and they just sit and gather dust because I don't actually use them. It doesn't matter. I only paid $2 for something. It still just sits there. And I just, you know, I'm really tired of just continually moving things around in my craft room when I could spend all of that time crafting with what I have. So um, one of the questions I get most often is how I store my six by six paper pads. Um, I think a lot of people have found many solutions for both six by six and 12 by 12, but it seems like, and I know I did, I struggled other than ribbon. I struggled the longest figuring out how to store my six by sixes. Um, I love my 12 by 12s to where I can kind of flip through them. And I wanted something similar for these six by sixes. And of course I use a calyx unit. And of course, if you line them up the way you do 12 by 12s, then you lose a lot of space because I mean, you could almost stack two levels. And so I, I wanted a better option. And so I finally found this option at the container store. It is a, um, I think they're called like fine or something, but they're just a plastic bin. They come with dividers. That's what these slats are for. I always pull all the dividers out because they're kind of thick and I want as much room as possible in the bin. They hold the, the 12 by, or the six by six is real snugly. Um, there's really not much room on either side, so they fit in there perfectly. And the beauty of this is you can also store six by eight or six by nine pads. Um, I know some people buy those as well. You can fit those in here as well. They're just taller when you put them in. Um, but this container has a nice handle on the front. And the best part is, is it has a set of wheels on the back. And so that makes it super easy when you want to pull it. You just pull the front handle and it just glides. It's wonderful. And they're deep enough that each one holds between 30 to 40 paper pads, depending on what brand you have the most of. Like these white ones here, th these are Echo Park. And I know they have some bigger six by sixes, but most of the regular ones, you could fit a lot in this um, but then we have like Paper Studio makes some really big ones. And so it just depends on the mix that you have. So I have six of these that are crammed full. And so it's time for me to really start using as much as I can. So you're going to see a lot of card chairs because I use six by six mostly for cards. Um, but these I only use to store my non-holiday, non-themed. So these are all just general paper pads there you know um there's probably like this one for instance is just some really bright foiled prints um there's i get simon says stamp card kits and you always get a partial six by six with those um i have you know my mind's eye i have you know some of these i've picked up at um scrapbooking events where they're literally just a very basic paper pad with just colors um, so I need to start using them because I have gotten a few lately and I went to put them away and I had no more room. Uh, the best part of these containers is two of these fit perfectly side by side in a calyx unit and you can still pull one at a time out. Um, it can be a little bit snug depending on how your like the shape your calyx unit is in. Um, but they do fit side by side because they are just barely over six inches because they're not super thick. I don't know if you can see that, but they do fit perfectly side by side in a calyx unit. And then you can get one of those um, under shelf organizers that slide onto the shelf and you could slide it into the shelf above. And then you could use that space above these to store other things. Um, but I, I just I have so many that it's time to start using them. 
And the more that I dig in and start using these, the more thoughtful I am when I do go out shopping. Because I realize, one, I already have something probably very similar at home. But two, I already have so much to use at home that even if I do pick up something new, bringing it home, I have no room to store it. So it's time to make room for new purchases and be a lot more thoughtful about what I'm purchasing. But I hope this helps if you guys can find these containers at your container store and you want to store your 6x6 in your Calyx unit. They really are. They're very well made. They're very affordable. And they hold a lot of 6x6 paper. All right, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this helps somebody. And I am off to see if I can use up some more of this paper. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye-bye.